I'm Suleiman Muhammad as introduced to you. And I hope we are all doing good. Yeah. How many of us are farmers over here? And how many of us are aspiring farmers? And how many of us are fashion for agriculture? That's interesting. Most often, people are invited to come and speak at talk because they are successful. But yeah, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, imagine a farmer enters a bar with a fertilizer in his one arm and a bucket of fertilizer in the other arm. And the bar attendant looks at him and says, hey, young man, we don't invite farmers over here. In fact, they are not welcome over here. And without skipping a bit, the farmer said, oh, you are right, but I'm not here for anything. I'm just here for fertilizer. <laughs> As you find him more in the field of agriculture, we have to take time and shift gears because the reality is not as you think. In fact, we are at the crossroad between two formidable forces, technological advancement and agriculture innovation. In fact, data support that agriculture practices contribute 48% of methane gas emission and 78% of nitric oxide emission, which are, put, which are the most contributors of climate change we are, as we are experiencing today. It is shocking to tell you that methane gas has 70%, has 20% more potent in contributing to climate change and trapping as atmospheric heat as compared to carbon dioxide. And you and I can attest the fact that today, our weather is very hot, isn't it? And this is as a result of inappropriate farming practices that our farmers are, are putting up out there. And this is because they do not have people to help them. This necessitates the need for us to revolutionize, to change our approach in producing food, distributing the food, and even consumption. And this is the, the point we are coming to talk about today. You know that today, climate is now an issue. And day in, day out, people are trying to find solutions to address climate change. But indeed, progress has been made, but we've not gotten anywhere. So here is the case. If we are to look at a possible solution, what solution do you think would help address this climate change? There is no possible solution. But here's the good news. A groundbreaking solution has been developed to challenge these challenges head on. The problem that farmers are facing today has to do with three things. One, sustaining the health of their soil. Two, mitigating the, the impact of their activity on crops. And finally, fighting pest infestation. And this solution that we are proposing today has the ability to do are these three major challenges that farmers are facing? Isn't it amazing? Exactly. So when you look at, so imagine a farmer who has gone through all the toils in ensuring that he gets a benefit and befitting harvest, ended up losing all his produce because of one low soil health and also pest infestation thereby causing the farmer unable to make an end meet. Now, after using this solution we are talking about, he's now able to experience a turnaround, doubling his yield at harvest and as well as her revenue. So, what, what is the major here? Imagine, when I started, I asked how many of us are aspiring farmers and how many of us are farmers. And the responses were good. But most often when we are discussing issue of agriculture, most of us think that agriculture is only meant for people who are within the agri-space or are experts, or people who have the education background. But here is, here is the case where now innovation has to come from all angles, meaning that the door of innovation is open to everyone, regardless of who you are what you do, and where you find yourself. You and I can contribute in our own small way to ensure that our, the future of our food system 
is safe. And we, the youth, are now taking the center stage to ensure that this thing is working because we have the capacity to challenge ourselves and also challenge the status quo that has been built. So, what do we then do? Are we ready to embrace this or we are ready to let it go? If you and I have the passion to, uh, to see to it that agriculture grow to a point where we can now handle it over to the next generation, are we ready to accept what we have today? And are we ready to as leave it as it is so that the, other gen the future generation that comes will, as will now do what we are supposed to do? And that is not the case. So the message I have for you today is that regardless of where you find yourself, whether you have the expertise, whether you have the, the necessary background, or you don't have, innovation is even open to everyone. And this can be seen in the, in the story of Jazz Grow, for which I happen to be the co co part of the co-founders to have seen this business come to life. The journey that wasn't easy, but and we also didn't have any specific background in agriculture, neither to talk about the needed skill to put things together to make a final product. But because of perseverance, hard work, teamwork, and also taking feedback given to us by people very seriously, we were able to come up with this innovation that we are talking about. This innovation has the ability to change the entire agriculture space in that when a farmer is able to get this solution applied to his farm, he's able to increase his revenue by up to 50%, meaning that you are coming to double your revenue as well as your yield. And also, you are, you are helping farmers to be able to manage their waste accumulations on the farmland. And this is a, a critical issue that farmers face, in that most of the time after harvest, these waste are left on the farm for them to rot. And these are the sources of these gaseous emissions that we are talking about, which are potent contributors of climate change. And even beyond that, the, farmer, the, the farmers need a space to cultivate. And once on the land, it is going to reduce their space that might have been used for cultivating other crop, thereby contributing to what they get at harvest. So with the help of this technology, we are transforming the ways that they produce into an opportunity. And what this opportunity is going to do is that it is going to help the farmers to get more revenue, as well as we, those who are living with the farmers, also ensuring that our health is safe. So as we climb as our, as we get to the end, as we are getting to the end of our conversation, I urge everyone to take the team for this gathering very serious, which is that from chrysalis to butterfly as a metaphor for transformation and growth. Just as chrysalis hold for the potential of becoming a beautiful butterfly, so as innovation holds the key for fu the future of agriculture. Whether you are a lecturer, you are an entrepreneur, researcher, student, we all have a role to play in ensuring that the future of our food system is, is safe. And together, we can culture innovation, sustain solution, and watch our, our investment produce, a tra produce and transform into a wonderful, into a wonderful outcome, just like what we see from Chrysalis to butterfly. Thank you. Thank you.